Welcome back to Google Classroom. We're going to talk today about creating announcements and assignments on the stream tab of your Google Classroom. I'm right now in the AP Chemistry class, period two, and I'm on the stream tab, which is the first tab, and the students tab is the second tab. From the stream tab, I'm going to create an announcement. And to know whether you're creating an announcement or an assignment, when you click on assignment, it opens up to look a little bit different and it says assign. When you click on announcement, it says post. And my announcement is going to be to watch this lecture video. Now, when you um, create an announcement, you have a choice to uh, upload a file to attach, and you can upload it from your existing computer or drag it onto this screen. You also can go to your Google Drive and grab a Google document to put on there. You can use a YouTube video and you can add a link as well as doing nothing at all. Um, I'm going to grab a YouTube video. And the YouTube video is uh, Lecture 1 on Atomic Structure. And the URL, let me go grab the URL, is here. I'm going to paste it right here and click on Add. So watch this lecture video on Atomic Structure. And I'm not really asking them to do anything. I'm just asking them to watch it. And in the right-hand corner, I can also apply this if I had more than one period. Maybe I had period two or period four. That's AP Chemistry. I could select more than one period at a time and post that. And that's as easy as it is to post an announcement. Now, this announcement just went out to every student in the class, both by email and in their Google Classroom layout when they go to the this same desktop. To add an assignment, I'm going to click on assignment. And basically, adding assignment an assignment is the same as adding an announcement, except that now you have due date and time that you can add on to this also. I'm going to ask them to please read this document and comment. And um, this is due Friday at noon. And I'm going to pick my date by roaming through the calendar. I'm going to make it the first or uh, third Friday in September. And the time is going to be 11.59. And then I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and I'm going to grab the document that I want them to use. So let's see if I can find it. This is a class rules document. Now, one of the things that's on this document is, actually, let me show it to you. So it's class rules. And this is um, because we're going to be working in Google Classroom quite a bit, and I wanted to set up some rules and etiquette guidelines because students are going to be able to comment to one another and do a lot of online interaction. And I wanted their signature. I wanted them to tell me that they agreed to these course guidelines and their signature on this document. So one of the things that's great about Google Classroom is that once I attach this Google Doc, I have a choice. Now, I could have all students view this file, but if I just have them view it, how will I get their signatures? I could have every student have edit access, but then I'd have 20 signatures on one document. What this allows me to do is to make a copy for each student, and a copy of that document will be made in 20 separate documents one for each of the students, and then when they turn it back into me, I will have 20 with 20 signatures on it, which is exactly what I wanted. If I want to um, apply this to more than one class, I can do that, and I can set it to 60 students, and it would make 60 copies of that document. When I click Assign, I have now assigned that assignment to every student in the class. And of course, I have no students currently in my AP Chemistry class, but um, if I did, it would have gone out to each one of them. Now, when I post an announcement or an assignment, I have these three dots that appear on the right-hand side. And that allows me to edit or delete these um, anytime I want to. And I can also add comments beneath it. When a student receives this, they also have access to adding a comment, which makes it very, very nice in creating assignments and announcements. The last thing I'd like to bring up is turning in assignments for students. I want you to notice that um, on the AP Chemistry tab 
on my teacher desktop for classroom. It says upcoming assignments, and then it has this assignment saying, please read this document and comment. I'm going to go into this AP Chemistry class, and what I did was I changed the date of the assignment to this coming Friday, very soon. On the left-hand side, when I get to the desktop, it tells me there's an upcoming assignment, and this is the assignment, and it's linked to that assignment. And when I look at the assignment itself, on the right-hand side, as the teacher, I can see how many students turned it in and how many did not turn it in. When I click on this, it brings me to a list of which students did turn it in and which did not turn it in, and it allows me to grade that. Let me see if I can find something where um, they actually did grade, did turn something in, and I actually did grade it. In the library medium technology class, if I scroll down, and it's very bloggy in the way it looks, I think I said that to you before, here's a bunch of assignments, not getting very good re return on responses here, but here's one where three out of 17 did turn in the assignment, and they commented along the bottom of the assignment as well. When I click on this, turned in assignment, it takes me to the assignment, and it tells me who turned it in. And if I wanted to, I could give them a grade. I don't have to give them a grade, but if I wanted to, I can. And this kind of shows you the grade structure. And I could say no point value um, and say, are you sure you want to have it, this particular assignment be ungraded? I can also click next to a student. I can return the assignment to them. I can email them or I can download the assignment from that student. So it gives me a lot of control from the desktop, and then I can click back up here and go back up to that particular assignment and continue through what's happening on my class desktop. So that's a little bit about announcements and assignments in Google Classroom. You can see that it's a little bit easier than using something like G Class folders. Um, next, we're going to talk a little bit more about what the student view is on Google Classroom, what it looks like for them to turn in an assignment, and what their desktop might look like. See you soon.